Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. So in today's video we are going to go over my October empties. I have a lot in this little bin here so if you guys are interested in seeing what I finished up last month then just keep watching. Okay I'm going to start off with something like really random first just to get it out of the way but I wanted to mention these. I've mentioned these before on my channel in a haul um, but this is the skinny syrup in iced cinnamon roll. So me and my mom use these in our coffee. They are so good and I use one teaspoon my mom uses two in her coffee so i don't know this is like our favorite flavor too it's the cinnamon roll one they have this year round but they have like some pumpkin ones out now and they have um i think they're coming out with the christmas related ones like peppermint mocha and that kind of stuff soon so just keep an eye out we find these at um marshall's tj maxx home goods it was 3.99 and these are so good you guys honestly they are so good and they are zero sugar zero calories. So the next section of stuff is going to be like the hair care. So I finished off this. It's like all jacked up the bottle. The Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Marufa Oil Intense Hydrating Shampoo. This was really good for my hair. Um, I have like dry coarse hair. Um, so I finished off the shampoo. I still have the conditioner in my shower, but I really did like this line. I also finished off the uh, Alterna Caviar CC replenishing moisture cream basically it's like a leave-in conditioner for your hair and this is like a mini size that i got in like an ulta kit of some sort and i just used it as like a leave-in hair conditioner and it worked really well the next thing that i have is the eczema honey scalp oil treatment so this stuff is really good i've gone through two bottles of it um i was having a very bad itchy scalp problem um throughout like most of this year and it kind of has gone away. Part of it I accumulate to this. The other part is some other products, um, but I did really, really love this. I don't think I'll repurchase it right now because my scalp is a lot better than it was before, but if I do have another flare up again, then I will definitely purchase this. I totally recommend this if you have um, problems with your scalp, um, just be uh, very light. Don't be generous with the application of this because it will make your hair oily. But yeah, it worked really well. The next thing is the Lotta Body Coconut and Shea Oil Foaming Mousse. So I use this whenever I um, got out the shower on my wet hair um, to make it curly or to help it be curly. Um, I did actually like this. I didn't, I don't like it as much as actually the other empty in here, which is the Herbal Essence Curling Mousse. I like this a whole lot better than this one. This one sometimes left my hair like greasy and stuff or it, it was frizzy even though i use this and this makes my hair less frizzy so i like this a lot better i probably won't repurchase that one but yeah this is the totally twisted curl boosting mousse i love this i don't really care if it's curly girl friendly i love it and i will continue to repurchase it and then i have a few skincare items so i have the first aid beauty pure skin conditioning eye makeup remover i got this from marshall's the tag actually wore off though. I can't tell how much it was. I want to say it was like $6.99 or something. Um, but I just use this as like an eye makeup remover on my, um, what's it called? My makeup remover towel. I can't remember what it's called. Makeup eraser. Yes, I use this on my makeup eraser because I find that even though those say that all you have to do is put water on it, I end up scrubbing my eye and I don't want to scrub. So I usually use a makeup remover with the makeup eraser towel and that way I'm not using cotton pads. But um, yeah, this worked really well. It was a nice little bottle to like try it out. And yeah, then I have the Vaseline Lip Therapy Advanced Healing Lip Treatment. Basically, it was like the liquid one. This worked. Um, it wasn't like amazing or anything. I just had it and I wanted to finish it. So I probably won't repurchase that. And then I have the Revlon Kiss Balm in Tropical Coconut. Um, this one smelled really good. Ooh, can't really even see it. I used it like all the way down to the bottom, um, but I hate these lip balms. I have four of them. They actually like make my lips more chapped the more I use them. You know, lip balms that do that. These are one of them, so I do not recommend them at all, but I have to get through the four that I have, so. So next I have Bath & Body Works stuff. So I'm gonna start off with some soaps. We have the Love Ya A Latte Whipped Espresso Foaming Hand Soap. This is so cute. I love the packaging on it. And um, 
I actually thought that me and my family were allergic to the foaming soaps and we're not, so I'm glad that I tested it out with this one. Um, the notes on here are espresso bean, creamy, vanilla, and whipped sugar. It smells so, so good. I, I wanna smell it again, because honestly, it smelled really good. Mm, yes. And um, I've noticed the foaming soaps, you can get like all the way down to the bottom of the bottle, like you use the whole thing, whereas like the gel soaps, not so much. So I think I will transition over to foam soaps instead of the gel soaps from now on, because you just get more use out of them. And I didn't really notice like it was drying my hands out or anything. So yeah. Speaking of gel soaps, I have the Blackberry and Basil Deep Cleansing Hand Soap. These are the ones with the beads on it, and I really don't like the beads. And also, look how much is left at the bottom. I really couldn't get it out unless I, like, you know, poured it out and everything, and I just don't have time to be doing that. So, um, but it was a good scent, especially for, like, early fall. Um, it was a really good scent, but yeah, I think I'm gonna stray away from the gel soaps from now on. The next thing I have is the Strawberry Pound Cake Shower Gel. This smelled so good. Strawberry Pound Cake. Mm. Oh, let me read you the notes. Sorry, on blackberry and basil. Blackberry, sparkling champagne, and basil, so yeah. Anyways, <laughs> um, Strawberry Pound Cake smells so good. It's like really, really sweet and fruity. Um, the notes are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. This was the, yeah, this was the one from spring. I got it at SAS. Um, but they do have it out right now in the fall line so if you want it go get it i think those are on sale now or they've already put them away for SES. i don't know um but yeah i really enjoyed it and it took me two months to use it up i was i had this in my project use it up and then i have the champagne apple and honey hand lotion i love the hand creams from bath and body works they are so moisturizing and champagne apple honey and honey is just like a really good scent for fall so i really enjoyed this the next things i have in here are the car fragrance refills so this one is pumpkin cupcake i finished this last month and then i put in autumn um so that one's in my car right now so those two and autumn smells so good it's like a very refreshing fall scent and i like love going in my car and smelling it um, the next two things and the last two things are these two one wick tester candles i have pumpkin clove and sweet cinnamon pumpkin and yeah they just they were really nice to use like when i was showering and getting ready for bed at night i think i like pumpkin clove better than sweet cinnamon pumpkin which is like weird to say because this one's like such a classic but yeah so i finished off those two and that is everything for my october empties so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know down below something that you're proud of finishing last month and like and subscribe down below and i'll see you in the next video bye